go into their half-court offense. Good job by George Washington in getting back in transition, stopping the GW fast break. <laughs> oh, wow. Part of Dayton's success this year. What a tremendous player he is. And what a great year he's having. Spin move. Goes with authority. Top it. Gets the ball. Had to travel, didn't he? If he wasn't fouled. How about that adjustment? Didn't get the shot. And Crutcher and Landers combined for the rebound. Trey from downtown won't go. Top it. Spin move. Blast. One of the 11 0 run did George Washington. Now they've gone nearly three minutes without any points. <laughs> OB top it with the flush. Dating up four. Uh oh. Inside, somehow that ball decided not to go in. Four, they have possession, they got a chance to get a good shot, not any shot. Toppin, doesn't miss many from that range. Par, yeah, nice move by Par. This young man, I think he's got a bright future, he's playing hard. Obi Ooh. Toppin, got up, shot that one down. They're faithful, we're expecting, we talked at to the top of the broadcast, it's an opportunity for George Washington to come in and make a statement. And to this point, they have. Everything's going his way. Lob. And the finish. From George Washington in the second half, that had hit the back iron. Panic forces bad shots. Somebody's got to help him, yeah. Yep, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here it comes. We talked about it. This team can just blow you out in like three minute stretch. Somebody's got to help them. Allen pars out there over my guards right now, saying when he catches the ball in the post, you've got to help me. Uh -oh. oh. After missing three attempts, Crutcher off the screen from Toppin, hands it to him. guy, as you said, John, the glue of this team. A force there, though, by Langevin after a bad turnover the possession prior. Topping for three. Off the heel. With San Diego State, the Aztecs went 11-0 on the road this year. Topping sees a him. What a dunk! Fans here and the, the energy and the atmosphere in Kingston, Rhode Island. will be back in with the turnaround off and Harris impact. Dayton with the first minutes for Jerry Matos, who only plays nine minutes a game. He's got the ball here, feeds Toppin, cut, score. I mean, that's just a scouting report mistake. There's no way. Three ball, a little short, great box and board underneath for Crutcher. Oh, what a lead, Toppin, the furious jam. Russell down the lane. Landers, the one-handed rebound. Yeah, you got to finish that one. Langevin to the table. Long joins him for Rhode Island. Top and call for it. I mean, that's head stop. I think, you know, play man, go zone. Just give him some different looks. Five to shoot. Top and not fair. Oh, it's goodness. not fair. It's not fair. To get on a run, but right now, it's like they're just settling in. Rhode Island's got to be careful here. Obi Toppin, sweeping look. You hope your team would play better. They can take the air out of the basketball here with five on the timer. Top it off. Long's got it. Down. That got a piece. They get back. Oh, here comes Obi. Do I have a 10? Can I hold that up? That's sheer goodness who was the MVP. So got two guys that really have some great honors. Spin move by Toppin. His first basket. Big time move. Father's a coach there as well. There's a turnover as Goodmanson lost it on the cut. Topping in the corner for three. Nice mid range jumper for Kellen Grady. I'd say Grady's smooth, man. He's smooth. There's the lob to oh, Toppin, who beats Davidson throw, down the floor. Just throw it up, though. A block inside by Crutcher. Crutcher is some heck of a player. He really. Now you know what Bill Self was really raving about him. Toppin's the oh, trailer for three. Oh.
penalty, but then they lost those two starters. Now you mentioned it. Luke Frampton and Keyshawn Pritchett both lost at the start of the season. So when Frampton, as Topman scores inside again, left the... You mentioned that George Mason team. That team was kind of a Cinderella. That was a surprise. If this Dayton team got to the Final Four, there would be nothing surprising about it as Toppin hit here. When I look at Maryland and I look at Florida State, those clubs can also get there. The lob to uh, Toppin! Thunder is done! In the same year, 1,000-point scorers. Landers is getting close to 1,000. Chapman gives uh -oh. it up to Toppin! Uh -oh. Get him ready! Get him contest at the All-Star break. Goodmanson is shut down by Mike Sell. Oh, here here comes Toppin again! Oh, it's Sam And his command. I love this kid. Jalen Crutcher is really somebody that we should be talking more about across the country because he is a terrific floor general for the day. Yeah, you're right, Holly. Right. Right. Perimeter. So it's screen and roll. Sabine so steps back. Toppin for three. Got it. Oh, wow. They run the table. Miller, 18 for Obi. Shooting, Duquesne's going to have to make some threes, but they're also the top shot blocking team in the A-10, protecting the rim already. Top end drops the match, yes sir. Have it done under Keith Dambrock today, and that's beat a ranked opponent. Round the horn, top end, great ball movement, but long on the three. They want. Weathers one of the high low, top end. Here we go, and has broken his own record. And we talked about those individual battles. Weathers is winning his battles. Chapman slipped hey. it, top it, and couldn't finish. He's potentially capable of doing just, like I said, big body with skill. Dayton still yet to have a lead. Top it shows you the left. And swiped away by Ibby Watson, the Michigan transfer. Toppin taking the top off the building. Hold up with Cohill. Foul on Dwayne Cohill who comes up a little late. Weathers just attacking the glass with ferocity, winning his battles. Second assist for the National Player of the Year candidate. Mike Sale taking it away. Toppin, look out! Chattanooga transfer Chapman, a school that's been good to the Flyers. Toppin tried the reverse. Landers never quits. Three. Toppin. Pinned on the glass. Hughes. Toppin. Landers has a double-double now. He is a quiet assassin. 
And third one of the year. Here's Tupper. Crutcher got knocked down. Watson kept up with it. Tuppen, this is just too easy. Dayton now with an over three minute score. Tuppen takes care of it. 14 0 conference start. Landers, one more. Tuppen, windmill action. They shoot 52% from the field number one in the country. Yeah, pretty remarkable, some of their numbers. Top and ten do that, and he nails the three. That There's Obi Toppin on the alley-oop. There was too much on it by Le Toppin went to the ground. He got up slowly. He's looking a little bit. He gets the pass. Caught underneath. Shot blocked by Santos Soba. His last nine games. That's amazing. Mike so with the shot clock at seven to top it. He lets it fly. It's off the foot of the rim. I think the fans may have got he slips the screen working against Ward. They're doing a good job on him. Yeah, it's more than one hand that's on him. Landers tried to put back no good. And the ball tipped out by Williams to Crow in the game. Either team. Yeah, he's five of nine from the floor. Here's Toppin trying to get going early. Backing his way in against Santos Silva. Off the glass, no good. Good defense by Sent out to Jenkins for three. No good off the front of the rim. And Obi Toppin leaked out, catches it on the baseline. Off the glass, no good. Silva was rebounding so far. See how Highland fought through that screen. They've been working on that. Toppin underneath, sweeps in, gets the spin. And he'll go to the rim. Toppin wants to get it to Mike Sell. He wanted it back. He gets it back for three. High arcing shot, no good. And the rebound is taken out. Chapman to Landers. Toppin spin move on Hassan Ward. Count the bucket. How about that with his left hand? Wow. Over the floor. They worked on that a lot today. Shoot around. Yep. That's, that's their signature. Five on the shot clock. Obi Toppin got some torque off the backboard. Ten on the shot clock. Fakes the handoff to Landers. Big play. In. Big play. Turn around. Jumper is good. Wow. He has head coach Matt McCall ranked as one of the better, if not the best, recruiting class in the conference. Landers for Toppin. Toppin can't drop it. Finally, they get Toppin free. Obi Toppin with his first dunk of the game. Dayton does beat the press. Sean East, a yet another freshman, had just checked into the game. Early points for him. And some more early points for Toppin. Second dunk of the game. Cuts the... Down to Mike Sell. Back out to Crutcher. Trying to find Toppin again. And he's got six in the first half. Toppin off to a quick start. Match down low. Toppin is begging for it. He's up against the point guard, Mitchell. Goes straight to the rim. Beats the double team, but it rolls off. Half at the Mullins Center. Carl Pierre wanted a foul. Didn't get the call. Ten-point lead now for Dayton. Toppin just lost the handle. A little bit too far under the basket. Minutemen had some momentum with a little bit of a run there before the timeout. Got a couple of quick baskets. Give it right back to Toppin. That's too strong. Mitchell comes crashing in. Under ten seconds to go in the first half. Jamonda sets a screen. Chapman around it. Toppin's going to try a three. Starters back into the Flyers. Toppin behind the arc. Too strong. Mitchell gets the rebound. I thought about a three against the zone defense. In the corner is Landers, and that shot is no good. Toppin is there to finish it off. So frustrating. Feed back to seven. Walker's talented enough to become the third double-figure scorer for UMass. Toppin right to work with the left hand against Mitchell. UMass is going to have to force the issue a little bit as Mitchell steps out on Crutcher. Toppin, quiet second half with three fouls, but he'll go to work with a layup. Turnaround jumper is short. Cohill up for the rebound. Toppin calling for it on the break. He gets it. Mitchell with three fouls has to be careful. Arms have jumped out. Indeed. He'll be able to challenge the threes of Crutcher. Toppin with the shot clock at four. Fade away. Jumper is good. He got a friendly. Too much. 
Landers with the rebound. He's controlling the boards against Langevin. Yep. And the outlet. No points, but four rebounds. Yeah, and not only that, they tried to go with Langevin first two possessions, and he defended oh, them extremely well. How about this? Boy, Toppin is just eating up. So when he came to Dayton with the shot clock at four, he didn't know they would be this good. He said it's been unbelievable to be part of as the shot clock violated. Under a minute to play. Crutcher along the baseline. Toppin up top for three. No good. Grazes the rim, and Crutcher drops he dreams of how about that yeah the feet on the shot clock walks into the corner for Obi top it for three how about that Chapman thought about the three a little hesitation bounce pass to Obi top it he wanted it. runs into the paint doesn't get the leaner to go ball is tipped to Landers top in got some separation boom Like you said, the injury is to the side of his head, not, not his feet. So his feet are going to be just as quick. Toppin sweeps in and lays it in. Flyers 52% on the year. Try to backdoor pass to Mike Sell with 12 on the shot clock. Toppin for three. Got it! you got to be kidding me. Last time they played, nine threes. For Here Dayton. we go. Watch this. And he plays as a sixth man. We'll see him soon. Talked to Travis Ford yesterday, and he told us, he said, we cannot allow all these threes that Dayton had. For Travis Ford, Jordan doesn't look at the statistics. He doesn't know he's shooting 25%. Toppin off the pass, blocked away by French. Toppin gets it back, though. Shot clock doesn't reach. Lock down under 10. Matos into the paint. Tried to lean it down to Toppin. Shot clock at two. It doesn't matter. VCU certainly within uh, discussion of the NCAA tournament in as of now with most people. Obi Toppin has that shot blocked by Hassan French. The floor for St. Louis. Collins bumps. He lost control. Crutcher to Toppin. Here he goes. Easy layup. Right. French almost had that twice. Toppin wants it down low. Against Bell, he may have shuffled his feet. Ball is blocked away. Here comes French in the billet. Because you know half the time he's going to miss the shot. Boy, that's an excellent point. I never even thought about that. Top in for three. It's no good off the front of the rim. Here comes Collins. Yeah, more comfortable and confident. I think so, yeah. Top in against Bell. Got a little help for a moment. Rolls it. No good. Ball loose. Picked up by Bell. Maybe watch it in number two. They need his offense. Crutcher slips it to Toppin, and Toppin finally has a bucket in the second half. It they have gotten away with the travel. Ball got loose. Crutcher off the high screen. Crutcher down to Jelly. Peanut Good butter night. and Jelly. They isolate. Toppin backs his way in, gets low. Fadeaway jumper is good. We saw a shoot around today was that isolation play to try to get top and one on one down there and see if they can get a little jump hook. There's a great feed. 72 down to Crutcher missed his first. And he's over two. They four out of six on Wednesday night. Nice rebound to Mike Sell. Topping from three. Got it. Board him right now. Obi Topping been pretty quiet offensively. See if he knocks down his second three. That short Landers. Chapman in the corner. Skip pass to Crutcher to Landers. Mike Sell left open inside the top end. And the puck. Sell. Inside the top end. Only made three buckets in the first half. Working on Soriano. Jump hook. A little short. And check out the, in the second half. Trey Landers up top, leading score 15 points. The Toppin has it swatted away by Soriano. A little flat on the shot, not enough arc on it to make it over the front of the rim. Fordham now just two out of 11 from three. Inside the Toppin, the second dunk of the game. Made his first three of the game earlier in the second half. Kicks it out to Mike Sell. Shot clock at four. Toppin from three. Got it. See who, if anyone here on this possession for the Flyers can end this run. Obi Toppin is in double figures, and go ahead and add two more. 
Showing that patience in the ball movement. Crutcher takes the pick from Toppin. Inside, easy two. A perimeter for his guards, too. He is, and but the bottom line is, in this game, John, he's going to need his stars to show up, and that's what they do so well with the high-low slam. Not just Atlantic 10. Dunn Martin, who would have been red hot in league playoff, they've been looking so good. For top so good. He does a great job. He doesn't necessarily leak out, but your game in the home of the Penguins tonight. <laughs> Look at this big fella getting up the rim. Wow. That's why in the two months I feel bad for the day. There's always an extra pass for Dayton. What a thing. Crusher. Bad shot. Bad shot. Not what he does. At out of sorts right now. Do what you do. Don't get caught up in his game. Stop and three ball off. He did, by the way. He lead heavily into it. <laughs> yes, he did. I would call a charge. Oh, what a lead. Top it. How many times that happened? And Duquesne spilled that lost momentum. Carry his pocket pick numbers for the Flyers. Right to the rim. Rejection. Top. Has missed eight of its last nine from outside and now turns it over. The head man. That is amazing. And efficiency, too, that's the other thing. We look for him, too. You know, he doesn't force it, he just plays within himself. Four times this year. Last season, it was eight times. Top and fall away. To the big fella. The carry picked off. Double comes. Wing look. In and out. Top it on the spot. Right there. Offensive rebound. Kick. That's a big possession. Crutcher off the bank. Oh, snaps it to top. Oh. Roommate to roommate. It's, they've done that probably without there. The 22 to 9. Long surge. For Duquesne, Toppin felt that double coming, go right into Hughes. Yeah, credit that, real good. Very athletic team for Dayton, very strong. They may mix it up here and there, but for the most part, they'll stick to that man-to-man. -man. Obi Toppin's first shot is a three-pointer. How about that? Where he played for former Spider coach, John Beeline. Toppin against Golden. Just patient, that's Bob. Two steals, led to four points. Now it's Obi Toppin's turn for two from the baseline. Just smooth. Starts a fast break for Dayton. Toppin on the follow. Yeah, that is a pass to himself yes. and a throw down. Gilliard attacks. Gilliard dishes. Gustafson misses. And now Toppin is going to bring the rim down at the other end. Yeah, smart play by Wojcik to get out of there. Kale and... You see both up. This is a what a play by Toppin. It's a great play. You're right. It's 10 first half points. Toppin over KO. And Sherrod the rebound. Good the first half. He had those two early fouls. Good contest by Sherrod on the pass by Toppin, who now shoots the three. And the spider bench was saying, came down with his hands, didn't keep his hands vertical. And Toppin rolls right over Sherrod, no whistle there. Gilliard drives. Teo can't hang on to it. Look out. Uh, he gets down to 35. The play in the second half. Toppin, triple team, scores anyway, and goes to the line. Here. Toppin has it stolen by Gilliard. Off moving, don't force it. That shot you can get anytime you want. Landers to Toppin on the alley oop. They go to Toppin. Toppin misses once and twice. 13 on the shot clock. Lofton puts it up, no good. And a pass over to top it, and there's the right hand throw down. Leading by the bench when they're on offense is how can they attack Dayton switching defenses? Toppin's gonna let it fly off the mark. 
what is about whether to call a timeout. I think it all depends on your team and the trust factor, you, trust level you have. Oh, the top head coach. The 2014. Here comes the double team. Landers over the top end. Two hand slams. Another turnover. Crutcher to Landers. Top and pump. And finishes with the left hand inside. People take museum quality photos of things every day. Like grapefruits. So he's got to get over and support a lot too. Offense rebound here. Topping. Can he beat the clock? He does. And gets it to go. How about it? Was oh, so man. confident offensively. What a pass. Teams. Not just when lights, camera, action, but the times when the curtains are closed. There's a nice feed to Topping. Man, that, that, beats, that beats a lot of other... It doesn't really feel like a trap. Toppin with another dunk. Under 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Flyers. Landers, nice. oh, nice play. I am so impressed with Landers in the season here in St. Louis. You know, Mike, it's obviously all hands on deck with Obi Toppin. Everyone needs to know where he is at all time because his game is so... Toppin. Working on the baseline, but Bell is able to stop him and get it. How about that? The, with the left, outstanding job. Toppin for three. But a big part of that, Mike, is credit St. Louis's defense. They are all around open. Now he gets a clean look for three, and he drains it. Yeah. Yeah. Go Hill back to Toppin. Trying to back his way down. Gets through. Rebound French. Hanks close late. St. Louis on Friday night. Top end. And he's looking for a, it's a rejection machine as Toppin is back in. He's back on him. He entered the game with a school record 170 blocks. As Toppin misses badly for three. Can overpower physically Mike selling the paint. Top end. Working on the freshman, Jimmy Bell. The hook. <laughs> Top it for three. Can't quiet the... Each shoulder with that jump hook and gets great possession. Does all his work early. Gets deep in the paint. Top it going to work. Foul of the rebound. It's on... Six seconds. Checked by Perkins. Crutcher gets by him, the floater's not there. Toppin could not get the follow as he tried to... Th Two of 15 is taken from three-point range in this one, but they get a play inside and able to come up with a steal. And this is right into the hands of Landers. But great transition defense. Take that to 32nd possession, and you're up 13. By Dayton to come within three. French... Powerful. Oh. You know what? My bad on defense. I'm making a two or three. It's probably your best percentage. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's we'll see what they do here. Crowd really getting into it. Fans right. But again, Mike, you have a veteran team like Hayden. You don't get afraid. You don't get worried. It helps to know that we're missing. A Man has been in a season-long slump. Under 17 to play. Top in first shot of the night. It's no good. And the rebound tipped out to. <laughs> Mike Self can shoot it. Good two on two situation here. Top in got power against Douglas. That was just a. This token pressure by VCU is forcing Dayton to play five on five. And that. Hey. Mm, Santos Silva blocks the shot. <laughs> And it's 28-23. But Obi Toppin, he said, we want to make sure that we continue to be who we are. We want the havoc, even if it's not working to get there. Toppin cannot connect on the alley-oop. 
Curry. Ball knocked away by Toppin. Look out. Here we go. In battle on the baseline with 136 to play in the first half. They get it into Toppin, launches a three. Too much on it. Rebound is loose. Run down by Vance. That's the screen. He had an opening. So he didn't even look that time, right? This is more his game right here. Yeah, he got a step on Santos Silva, lays it in. Three. The shot clock at 15. They get it inside to Toppin. Toppin against Santos Silva. He becomes a jump shooter. Can't get it to go. And Santos Silva with. Top it off the inbounds. Good ISO here. Back in his way in against Santos Silva. He doesn't get the roll off the rim. Santos Silva dribbles it out. VCU's help side defense is terrific. Mike Sell leaves it for top in and he jams it home. That was a great catch because that was behind. And too much on it. Ooh. Yeah, Toppin was open for a moment, wasn't he? Yep. And Crutcher leaves it for Toppin. They're playing Nerf basketball in the basement. And Santos Silva can't even buy a basket. He got a little too far under the hoop. Toppin. And a one-handed slam. Twelve minutes to play in the second half. Toppin open for three. He's missed two tonight. He's made one. <laughs> Batman has to handle the ball a little bit better, closer to his body. Shot clock at seven. Toppin tries the fader. No good. And seconds to play. Used to be a five-second count. You would get a turnover. That doesn't exist anymore in college basketball. Oh, oh, man. That exists here in Dayton. Court. Trying to set that screen and now post up. They get that mismatch down low. Yeah, no chance for Fairjo once they have the switch. First part. And Crowhill, the sophomore from Cleveland, who's more of a defensive stopper than anything else. Toppin says, why not? I'm open. Not this time. Tough. Had it. They get set to make a couple more subs on the sideline. Underneath, wide open. Obi Toppin. As if Clergio strong with that, cleared by Watson. Here comes the man who spent two years at Michigan. The dunk for Toppin at the end. Strong, aggressive to the hoop. Gian. Chapman right back at you, though. Toppin, how about that quick trip? Well, he's, he shot two from beyond him in that isolation. All alone, Mitchell down on the block trying to stop Toppin. And cannot do it. Wow. I mean, that is just an assignment. There it is again. Mitchell kind of changed the shot. East. Mid-range. Nope. Uh-oh. Running uh -oh. away. Here we go. Uh -oh. OB. Crutcher. Another try. Uh-oh. Up and under. Left hand and in. One guy that was able to get good shots. He didn't convert, but he got that. Mike Sells had eight rebounds already. That's a season high. The other end, Mitchell gets caught. Just a little bit of token pressure up the floor this time. Top it. Haven't been able to buy one.
after a couple no. of turnovers. Air ball off the baseline for Beattie. Here comes Dayton with the tempo. Toppin will put it up from deep, and that's exactly why NBA scouts. Obi Toppin has LaSalle's lone bucket the three. Watch him work down the lane, taking D's to task. Obi Toppin for LaSalle, so they do have an energetic arena. Drive it off the bench for the first time. Dwayne Cohill looking for Toppin, just can't finish through contact. Wanted a call. He's got the defense on the ball. Crutcher so bounces smooth. off. Crutcher is so smooth that... So things have clicked for the 20th ranked Flyers. Obi Toppin back in, begging for the basketball, and an easy turnaround. You can't let him catch it there. It's saying feed Croswell. Good things will happen. What a battle to it. Spencer actually swatted it to Dayton. Toppin a three around and out. Landers the rebound. Was fantastic last season. Just really efficient, one of the top field goal percentage players in the A-10, and that's, it, it, it's too easy. Down the floor, feed the big man the ball. High low, top in! Two hand jam, dunk number one. Here comes Chapman. Doesn't have numbers, but he does have an open mic cell with a more open Obi Toppin! Obadiah Toppin! Culture that's not used to winning. You have to remind them that playing hard is a skill. Here's and Toppin. I thought that was going to turn into a monster jam. All the way, but in and out from JT Escobar. But Flyers they, get the first chance. They didn't get lucky. They went under the screen. You can't go under the screen. So the ball played against number 17, Florida State. You see the steal by Chapman. Chapman lobs it for Toppin and pushes it home. Game with two fouls. Let's see if Dayton can get a bit of space now. Top it, work it down low. Muscles it up, but too far under the basket. Rebound Chapman. Lob inside for Toppin. So far to the Dayton extended pressure. After thought about Toppin, now the lob into Toppin, and the one hander goes in. Side to top and who's back in the game. Tried the reverse, let go. Oh, he's working it around on the perimeter. This is Landers. Top of corner three. Rainbow three won't go. Steals by the Flyers. Zero for North Florida. Top it. Oh boy, he thought about the monster. Defensively protecting the three. Toppin backing it down. Toppin fade away. Toppin for two. North Florida opportunity. Taken away again. Another flyer steal. Cohill off to Watson. Strong up to Toppin with the finish. Producer Josh Hall is not going to be happy with me. Trying to beat the clock. Toppin. Oh! Exclamation point to the first half. Not to allow him to get any easy looks. He also picked up two fouls in the first half. Toppin backing it down and won't go. Three flat play. A on ball screen up top. A look for the lob. Touch oh. it the lob to Toppin. I won't go. 13 points now for Obi Toppin. Another lob here. The to Toppin again. Just a dynamic play. Again, you saw the, the goal or the strategy for North Florida. Dribble drive, and then she looked to the perimeter. And one, top it. Florida, he still thinks Dayton's the best competition that they played thus far this year. High praise, top and works it down and just works up. One of the great things about college athletics, any student section. Oh, my goodness! Keep in mind, in that game, they had 17 three-point made shots. Top and spin, blocked. Nicely blocked by Indicom. Over for the block. Top and does indeed make it to the NBA. That'll Watch be one Indicom here. Talks him. Oh! What can you say? It's just a three-pointer of the night. Now has 10 points on the game. Top and again, feeling it. Oh, my goodness. He's unstoppable. 
he ain't got the talent to do it and maybe do some damage. Bob the top in! He just put it. his feet. You never want to leave your feet unless you're shooting the ball. Back to top and this time, oh my goodness, he's human. He didn't like the first possession defensively for Dayton and man came out in the zone and they, Grambling State was still easy to get his basket. OB Toppin and one. It's been all flyers here early. Grambling going to his zone and OB Toppin looking to break it. Air ball on the baseline. Back to Rodney at the center logo. Six seconds here. They go to top and underneath. OB top. Wow. So mean are the Tigers from three-point range. Well, and they're not going to get a better look than they just got wide open for a good shooter from the outside. Talking about a wide open look, top and miss. Smith Jr., sometimes you just need to see the basketball go through the hoop. That might be the one to get him rolling. OB top and glass. It's good. Not much you could do with that. He just was. Okie Toppin now is playing the four spot. He played the five spot to start the game. Now they don't have nearly as good a spacing. But look at this guy. Oh, I mean, this Still is trying top. to post. Gets fronted. Drops here. Toppin clapping for the ball. Takes the three. And Wright wins it by his lonesome. He gave him space and he misses the easy look. Landers the ball. Toppin a rare touch. Right back to him. Open three. And weak side one by Dayton. And normally, oh, fell asleep. That was a great cut by Obi Toppin. He's able to play out in the perimeter a little bit. Some similarities there. I believe it was David Lee. Toppin, he can do things that are just different. Right with 13 to lead the way for Colorado. Toppin, he can shoot too. They rips it for Colorado. And Dayton looks stunned. Chapman, a oh, great threat to a coming top and end one. Kid, and this team struggles to score. He used the double figures. He's now got 10. Oh, oh what a lead! Oh, and he'll pull me top it. Gatling ready to sub back in for the Buffaloes. Just got to the tape. Top and wanted it. Takes it. And a miss, and another one and done. Toppin screens. Mike Sell, Toppin. Nope. He looks off. Colorado started 7 0. Lost to Kansas, lost to an underrated Northern Iowa team. Toppin, turnaround off. Dayton's gone cold, set of the up. Toppin against Bill. Muscling him in. One hand. Oh. Out of bounds, going right to the box. Lob goes to Crutcher. Now he screens. Top and fed on high three. Uh, off and right got it. They're going to have. It's got to be quick. They can take a quick two if they want. But if this thing gets under five, let's see if they're going to foul Colorado. Top and three ball to tie. Yes. Lob it all the way up top. This is what they ran last time. The quick pick and roll with Obi Top and taking it out of bounds. Ooh. This time he cuts bucket. First lead for Dayton. Top and the man who forced free basketball screens for Watson back to the screener. Great top pitch. But batting in gets the board. That was a baseline jumper. That two is strong. The digit starters, you know, are like a 10.1, 10.3. Uh oh, get ready. Oh. <laughs> Three-pointer counts. The foul was on Mike Sell away from the ball. So a second consecutive possession for Dayton. Toppin showed the strength inside, long distance. I consider the kind of points that Dayton could put up. Shot for three from the corner, no good. Toppin out. Arm raise, wants the ball, gets it. And Landers makes it a one and done. Dayton has to put some offense together here in the half court. That's one great way to do it. Get it to Obi Toppin. He's a great three-point shooter. 
He can't so much if he's going to be taking the ball to the rim so many times. Top of, look at that catch. <laughs> Floats just a little bit. The thing tonight that has shot the ball well. They have not shot the ball well, especially the perimeter. They've done this very well. They've, you know, they've moved the ball in transition, gone up and down the court. Masters. That's impressive. Indeed it is. Kobe Toppin. Underneath for Toppin. Ball is lost. Kobe gets it back. Kobe Toppin with the Rock. 22 points per game. Put a few highlight dunks on his resume already this season. Rodney Chapman will dribble it up. Redshirt Jr. from Lithonia, Georgia. Obi Toppin, star player from the Flyers, hits the mid-range jumper. Exciting player as well. Should be a great matchup between a quality big and a sensational guard. Obi Toppin calling for the alley, and he puts it down. Switching everything, and he finds himself with mismatches in the post a lot. Baseline run, throw to the corner. Toppin for three, yes! This is a Gales team that it's not their first time playing in an NBA arena. The top and this is the three earlier. It is for you. If you beat them, hooray. But if you go and play poorly or even take an L, that's just not what you want. And both of these teams capable of knocking off. Another one that rattles in and out. Lob for Involvement with USA Basketball. Yes. The, the change over the years in the NBA to more of the international style of play, I would say, when you first began, what worries me is this new trend, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this load management idea of stars not necessarily competing the full 82-game schedule. Here to Joe Lenardi about the revolving door at number one. Who's your number one team in the country right now? The Cardinals and Blue Bluefield. What about Obi Tom? about Obi Top in the development. He said, well, this is a young man who just has been able to take advantage of a prep year and a red shirt year. And Utah State, another ranked opponent. Big quality win for the Gales. Trying to lob the top and being held, and he throws it in anyway. I love that. You know, we're talking with uh, Jerry Colangelo about the European influence. When Vladi Divac got off the plane and brought the flop with him, it was the worst day in battle. Transferring in a season ago from Tennessee, Chattanooga. Good look inside, and there's Toppin. Defense forgot about Toppin. I don't know how you do that. So Toppin spinning free, gets it to Lynn. Good pass. Open three. Back of the rim. Toppin finishes. Obi Toppin putting on it. Goes. Blocks again inside. Good defense again. Toppin out and running. Scoops it in. Nice job of spotting. Catch it in rhythm. Knock it down. Toppin, the three. Can't hit that. Rebound. Pulled down by for HBU. Not a shy young man either. Little give and go. Toppin can't convert underneath. Was a little too far. So two. Well short. Here come the Flyers in transition. Toppin spots up for three. Ball goes on a matchup, find the shooters, protect against the drive to the middle. Good attack by Johnson. Oh. Toppin and one. Toby Toppin gets the buck. Dayton's lead back down to three. Chapman, alley oh. Toppin brings it down. What a job of communicating. Wants to make sure they get a good shot. Leading by seven are the Flyers. Toppin wide open three, rims out. Rebound, go. Mike fell. 
Timeout, Kansas. Well, Kansas did such a smart thing to drive that ball. Right down the floor. Just a great pass from my, Ryan Mikesell. Toppins on the board. Took a while, didn't it? <laughs> What a play by Dotson. Ooh, that was a great play by Moss because Obi Toppin was standing all by himself. Under so quick at turning that corner. Push off. That was a push off. Kansas comes down with the ball. Garrett, nice. Ibby Watson. How big of a factor does this guy look like he's going to be for the Flyers this year? He's just a, a big time shooter. And when he has his feet set, you got to make it. Switched off, and then just not a good, not a good play by a seasoned defender yeah. in Marcus Garrett, especially when you got three. Can't afford that kind of reach. And Aruna threw it too high. He should have just shot it. It was a wide pin down followed by another wide pin down. Another bad pass. Really unusual to see Dayton throw the ball away like this. 12 to go. And now it's punch, counter punch. Now it's time to see how Dayton will respond. Toppin is back in. Garrett's been great here in the second half, and he's played several minutes with four fouls. Dotson's just been flat out spectacular all afternoon. Not this time when a, a cutter's coming off the ball screen. So Dotson at the free throw line for Kansas. Six for seven from the line today. 89% on the season coming into because a lot of things well. Hoppin needs to touch the ball down the low post. Let him go to work. Ball screen, he gets it back, elevates, and banks it home. There it is, just a simple ball. Mm. Having Chapman and Crusher in the game at the same time, two point guards, that's just big time. What a play by Mike Sell. Tipters another rebound, and the Flyers are pushing again. Man, this team is legit. Top in, long jumper. Horn inside, it was deflected, he still grabbed it and laid it in. And boy, does P.J. Horn get everything out of his ability, as does that guy. Over the top, a shot. Jay, how about the two teams combining to shoot 60% of the game and 63% combined from three-point range, and that'll go up. High-level basketball right now. Well, what a great back cut by Ty uh, Tyrese Radford. My goodness. Top and feeling it. And gets another friendly roll. A breather. Dayton goes a little bit smaller. Jerry Matos is into the game and out for the Flyers. A redshirt junior from the Dominican Republic. Boy, and Toppin is looking for his three. Doing it inside and outside right now to extend the lead to 10. He's popping again. He's shooting again. Not this time, though, for Toppin. Makes it an intense ping pong rival. Final seconds of the first half. Toppin for three. Oh, and the foul for Ibby what The best way to eliminate flopping is don't call it a foul. Over the top, everybody brings fans to Maui when their teams play here. But Dayton travels extremely well. They have a passionate fan base. They get 12,000 a game year in. Beat you. And I think the answer is no. They've got to make a ton of threes. They are 7 for 19 from beyond the arc. Average 13 makes a game on forcing the, the tough finish. Now that's an underrated part of defense. Make them make the tough shot instead of fouling. Most defenders would have fouled on that drive. Or your player at Dayton, where he would rank among Dayton's best ever. Because I think he'd be right up there at the top. I would probably put, but again, the guy to keep an eye on. Well, all of them, but number one in white, Obi Toppin with the ball. He's going to draw a lot of attention from Georgia, but he scores the first bucket of the game. Dayton Boer, he has no limits. What a gifted basketball player Anthony Edwards is. He is just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. As is this guy, Obi Toppin can step out and shoot point guard. Look that Anthony Grant has with both Crutcher and Chapman in the game at the same time. Down in the post to Toppin, making it look easy. You're going to have to run it. It's going to be a battle when you take on Dayton. Yeah, this is basically going to be a fight. Topping into traffic. Two more. He's got nine already. A lot more depth for Anthony Grant to work with this year. Topping one on one with Howard. Gets inside again and draws a foul. And he is unstoppable.
top of board. Nice dish. Hammonds can't finish. Might sell the defender. And here goes Topman. Couldn't get underneath it quickly enough, and he'll have to lay it in. But it's a good one. And he can recruit. He's a great coach. You know, they took their lumps last year. Things are going to get much, much better next year, this year. But he's going to continue to. That is so big for Dayton. You've always got a primary handler. Top oh. Couldn't finish the slam. In his freshman season for the Dogs. He great quickness. Wide open top end. Got a screen. Now Gresham switches off on top end. Peak has him now. He's got to get the ball. You played some baseball, right? Played a little bit a little of baseball. baseball. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed baseball. You don't get hit in the head as much. Turnover that, you know, I think there's no way that Omaha can stay in this game if they're going to give Dayton extra possessions through turnovers. Lanes in order to go. That was a bad NBA shot is what it was. Jalen Crutcher shouldn't be shooting that shot. How about Toppin? Like any guard. Wow. They've got back-to-back -back home games once they finish up in Washington State. Toppin. By Dayton on that possession. Really moved the ball around, forcing Omaha to play defense both sides of the court the entire time. And then you got two offensive rebounds. 22, the Flyers' largest lead of the night. Obi Toppin closing in on one in sole possession of fifth all time at Omaha. Toppin underneath, spin move. Short side won't go, gets it back, fingertip roll off the left. Thank you very much. You can get into your offense, take up some time. No need to rush, no need to force. Toppin goes to the left hand, that one doesn't drop. And right now you have the time. You can list all the Division I teams. Top it. Too easy, way too easy for Omaha. He's just two dribbles. Now it's going because right now Dayton just is now winning the second half by a few points. You got all of these guys out here playing. Coach Grant clearly here's the other one. Schuler, Kilrack, in and out. That's the finish. Toppin! Hello! Obi Toppin on the scoreboard. Nice bounce pass. Gives it up to Toppin. Toppin from outside, nothing but that. Well, that's where he shows his first right decision, getting to the rim. Ten, all run by Charleston Southern. Toppin on a flush. We talked about Toppin, already his second dunk of the game. Three balls, short. Come here comes his third. Puffs, Toppin, Obi. <laughs> kind roll. Malik Battle gets it to go home. Battles a freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia. Top and way up the bear. Does the right thing, tacking the basket. Chapman with the steal. See Chapman, the defensive uh, disruptor for Dayton. The fourth dunk. And the Bucks going with their small lineup. Top and another dunk. Bam! Here's your fifth dunk of the game. 13. It goes for Charleston Southern. Dontrell Schuler. Here's Toppin. Got to go through. Here comes Toppin the other way. Went to the left hand. Toppin tries to follow it up. Can't do it. He wipes the lob here. Here it comes. Toppin again. Uh-oh. Comes up left. Off the ground to intercept that pass. Pressure in the lane. Dump off to Toppin. And how did he get that to go? Get there. 
Somebody needs to help him. <laughs> Short pass. Shamaka. Like that, but they did. That did happen. Fats Russell missing that floater. Been having some trouble finishing inside as a blade. Good well, sign. Well cut by Mike Shell and he gets milk that clock. There's no reason to rush. Mike Shell fouled. He can feel the. I have a hard time putting like the 13th team in the Big Ten. <laughs> And I don't think they would make it. I don't think that's going to be a problem. If they don't be... Oh, we'll be pass. topping with a bullet of a pass, pass. And the gather under...
18, that was the difference at halftime. Obi, nice find. Trey Landers missed it, but he will shoot two. Here's Toppin. Had it knocked away. Obi able to collect. Found Landers, one dribble and up. Toppin. Look to Crutcher over top of the screen. Oh, nice pass. Yes, yes. Extra give. That is a <laughs> because that wasn't working. Yeah, that was uh, kerosene, as John Rothstein likes to say. Not quite the true alley oop. Just there's no chemistry right now with Drake on the offense. Lob off the back side. He did, he gets off the ground too high and too fast. Look at that little pass. Get Cuts to the hoop, all over the rim. Can't get From Goddard, Kansas, he is a medicinal chemistry major and a 3.9 plus GPA student. Just under 54% from the field, and that includes 40% from beyond the arc. That's good ball movement. That's simple. Oh. Top and no. Gets the rebound, gets the bounce, the layoff. That one doesn't fall. Tighten up the pressure. Pass. The no luck. Great pass. Four against St. Louis. Topping nice look to Mike Sell. He's short with it, though. Thus far, they've been hanging in. Topping, 1v1. Diagonal opposite side. Open look for three. Count. A couple of scoring possessions together for Dayton. Topping. Shot for three from the corner. And Get there. Somebody needs to help him. <laughs> Short pass. Shamaka. Toppin. Mike Sell. Cross court from Obi Toppin. Shot is going to be well short. Fight for. Haven't seen Toppin look for three point opportunities just yet. Stuff, do what they've done successfully in this game through their pattern offenses. That's a great pass. Crutcher. Thanks. With a lot of these Dayton Flyer fans realizing this is probably the last time you're going to see Obi Toppin in UD Arena. Shot for three. Oh. Like that, but they did. That did happen. Fats Russell missing that floater. Been having some trouble finishing inside as a blade. Good what, sign. What cut by Mike Sell, and he gets this time out. Tonight, they're shooting 46% from the field. Bad pass at the grand of the lane. Somehow finds Watson, and he lobs it up. A tad bit more physical. You see Langevin denying Toppin. To start the game, we really need them to come out and play with reckless abandon. The pressure, the pressure and the expectations have been raised to such a level. And he said, I'd rather have high expectations. One win Atlantic 10 tournament. They have to be in the NCAA tournament. D3, Crutcher. Never knew a lead when these teams met a few weeks ago in Dayton. They haven't known an advantage tonight. And it doesn't look like one. Wasting no time, but off the mark, Ryan Mikesell. Crutcher, another look, and he knocks it down to nothing. Crutcher off the screen. That's too strong. I have a hard time putting, like, the 13th team in the Big Ten in. And I don't think they would make it. I don't think that's going to be a problem. If they don't be... I mean, think about it. It looked like this was going to be such a blowout. That you wouldn't see Toppin on the floor. Another three. Kids. Nice Obi pass. Toppin with a bullet of nice a pass, pass. And the gather under. Three, three beautiful people. He coached at Holy Trinity. He coached Matt Doherty. Played for North Carolina with Michael Jordan. He down.
and rebounds. Wants it for three. He ain't no good. The left ankle was bothering him, so on his dunks, he was dropping off his right foot. <laughs> Mike Sell playing volleyball as he went up to the 13th career double double for Toppin. Spin move on Landrevine inside from Landers. Tight quarters. Yeah, Devine and Russell combining there for an almost basket. Mike Sell from the corner for three. Never really had control of the basket. Possession here for GW. Yeah, it's only a four point difference, but oh, that was a clump. 12 straight. Execution so much part of what they're doing at Davidson. Brady off the window, and he's got Mitchell fighting for the rebound. Trey Mitchell gets his hands on it. Trey right to the basket. That is an down from Chapman again on Russell. Fade screen for Down. They want him isolated. Down fadeaway three, no good. And a rebound. <laughs> Jump up for the baseline again. Russell just extended and made made a layup out of it. Hassan French to the basket. Shot blocked oh. by Obi Toppin. Seconds left. St. Louis does not have any timeouts. Perkins is the shooter. Working against Toppin, off the glass, no good. Put back is, it's stolen. All right, now St. Louis has got to go. No timeouts left. He's going left. Perkins, little hesitation, off the glass, and no good.
in goal. The Flyers in that familiar home white and red. Shot clock down to three. A little left-hander jumper from inside. Turnaround. Now let's see if they get a quality shot here. Land to mine. One-on-one with top. He takes that man line and draws the foul. Here at 6-5. Worked as well. Set up first year. Grew two more inches and the rest is history. Luka Brykovic. Luka Brykovic with the jump hook over Toppin. Bounce game for Miller with the shot clock down to 10. Wants one on one with Toppin. Got it around him, high on the board, but again the length. Just... Maduro, the face up. Lots of chance from the green machine. Wilson, one on one with Toppin. On the face up. Mason has been eight. Wilson, this time with the left. And top. By design wounds and then Obi top. Hughes. Hughes, one more drop down. Steele with the left. Influenced by Toppin. Hughes. That might have been a travel. And Steele and Toppin, the goaltender. His best game of the year was at Dayton. 16 points in that one. Santos Silva tried to get the... This is pleased with up 8-4. Mitchell in the post. Single teamed against Toppin. Off the side of the backboard, but gets three assists per contest. Down to Mitchell. Getting bullied off the block by Toppin. He keeps his foot. Should have five, six assists by now. Some people are just missing when he's setting them up. Oh, Mitchell spins right into a double team from Mike Sell. But he's reading it like a veteran player. Got Toppin off his feet and scores the basket. Mitchell. Mitchell goes to work around the double team. Left-handed layup is no good. Sticks it back into that paint. We own the paint this afternoon. 22 with the ball. Joel Soriano getting the start here today. Nice jump hook. Trying to isolate here. Hughes rejected by Tonkin. And Paul players, Carmelo Anthony, C.J. McCollum, and famed trainer Chris Brickley's Black Op games. They would call Toppin when they were... Now, they're playing each other, they're canceling each other out because they're winning and, and the, the wrong... I shouldn't say the wrong team is losing. That's what they need to do right there. Special to be the head coach at Dayton. K.O. going to try again. Off the glass and good for two. Around him. Golden with three fakes and Toppin swats it out. Lead at 14. Got him in the air that time, but another miss down. Collins. Oh, I tell you, Collins is fearless. He is intimidated by no one. Great deflection. French rejected by seven. The Flyers. St. Louis looking for their first win over a ranked opponent since 2000. Out of here with a win. Their only two losses this season have been in overtime. They don't want to pick up a third. Here is Collins. Jenkins looks in for Santos Silva. He got a step on top end, but he can't finish. That was the issue I have, and it's been offense and a balanced offensive performance ignited by the dunks of Obi Toppin. Staying aggressive. <laughs> Seven of 20 from beyond the arc. Santos Silva off the glass over the top of Toppin. Mitchell the spin. Blocked up top. Got it. Down on the block. Isolated. Mitchell up and under. Nice move with the left hand over. Sal, such a key. But you got to make Dayton pay right now. This is Mustafa Jun. Okay. Transfer from Western. Feed him. Feed him. Let him go to work. There you go. Finally do. Dragging him down to the baseline. And forcing Toppin to defend on the block. One of the worst de defensive rebounding percentages in the Atlantic 10 because they just give up too many looks. Croswell forcing it in against Toppin. 48-32, Gramlin going inside, bunch, one dribble. And he's met at the rim by Toppin. He is going to be a fine player this year and for years to come in this sport. 
Turnaround, jumper, Robin. Early going to half number two. St. Mary's been one of the elite three-point shooting teams oh, on the year. There's a nice move, and Menzies has it fall off. Menzies going up the left hand, missed the, one of their best games all year. Well, Sam, I'm going to tell you what most coaches won't. Nobody's beating down the... Down low to Matthias Toss, one of the many international representatives for the Gales. Well defended by Obi Toppin. Garrett right now. And they go inside to Azubuki again. And he scores over Landers. The date of post, he's so unselfish, passes it out, and then the extra pass, which is the right pass. Over the top, Azubuki again. Fouls, Ibby Watson has come in for Dayton, a transfer from Michigan who's had a couple of nice games. Azubuki going right at Toppin, Toppin down with a read. Boy, you tip your cap on that. What are you going to do with that? That's why you got to get him the ball. Let him post wherever he wants to has sampled everything on the islands. He's had papaya, he's had guava, he's had uh, silver now. sword. Yeah. Nel really good defense. You know, so many of these guys on this Dayton roster are just plug and play. They play both ends of the floor, very skilled. Overs in the span. Neatly filled. Free for a shot, wants to wiggle a bit closer with the low pound triple team. Harris again! Wilson, the reversal, and the friendly bounce. Half the points tonight. Ace at shot clock again down to 10. Toppin got a piece of that. They're trying to get Kerry going, running more sets for him. Got the drive, the slip. Club only fitting that he's right behind his roommate, Jalen Crutcher, to do it. Steal with the slip, and quickly a response. Field, look at that switch. Mike Sell covered up. Down low to Hassan Ward, he just put it. Williams lost control, got it back. Van covered up by Toppin, goes reverse, blocked away. That was just too easy. It's funny because it feels like VCU's ahead. With just the way they played in the second half. Van Kemp is time in 26 games. The only time was against Grambling that he didn't reach that way. Jenkins, no good. Santos we should have that, really. Cohill is saying to Anthony Grant with his play, hey, coach, lead me in. <laughs> Walker from the free throw line. Fader is good off the front of the rim. He wanted that ball on that high from French. Instead, they go to the corner. Shot clock at three. Goodwin, shot clock at two, and he ties it up. So a five-point lead for the Flyers. Jacobs into the paint, heads to the basket. Shot blocked by Toppin and so far. Chamanga doesn't play that much, so he can get out at 8 a.m. and work. <laughs> he only plays about 12 minutes a game. Fouls, they need his offense. Jacobs bounce pass to French, two-handed jam. He can do it too. Chapman has to do a good job of containing the penetration of Collins. Goodwin has it stripped away. Ooh, Landers almost had that. Goodwin going right to the basket. Shot is blocked going up. Goodwin gets it back to 10. Off the screen. Slight hesitation, sweeping in, gets the spin off the glass. Anthony Grant says, hey, threes are good shots. If they're open shots, then they're within the offense. Job all the way in, and that ends a one for... Tyler can get beat. Tavian Dunmartin. Oh, nice lead. Hughes! Watch Crutcher. Crutcher closing in on 1,000 points in his career. And look at that block by Obi Tyler. <laughs> Which power forwards and centers are shooting three, so I think they just want to get the ball in the... They're going to score the first five of the half. Make it the first seven. Tough nice shot. loader. Yeah. It is an opportunity to, again, with another strong season go pro. English. 
Another floater. Mike Corey original. He's making TV production history with the players introducing the players. I love it. New for our Friday night, sir. Good point, but he's better catching and creating. As we mentioned earlier, Collins is the only true real point guard. He's a freshman, but he needs to be on the court. I should say he's getting hit, he's getting bodied up. We'll have a timeout. The next whistle here. It's an 11 point St. Louis. An excellent job this evening. Here we go with Chapman. It's a one and one. St. Louis. He hasn't shot as well as VCU would like him to this year. Evans off the high screen from Santos Silva. Leaner is no good. Off. 47 41. It's the largest lead of the night. And Obi topping with the block. Block on the season for Amy Watson. There's a strong with that. Fleet, top to bottom. Top and good defense on the ball. Tough move for Beattie, and Mike Sell takes it. Florida can't take the lead. Drive to the basket, left handed, pretty bad. 33 22, largest lead for Dayton. Runner blocked by Toppin. Blocked. We've got, I don't know how, what happened there. Right, the chorus of boos, elbow J on the way, and he sticks it. That's been a bugaboo for the Buffaloes. They turn it over a lot, particularly of late. A lot. Right, a deep three, drains it. They started 7-0. They're staggered on the road to Kansas. Lost to a talented Northern Iowa team. Right, sweeps to the cup, puts it. Can shoot and has that little left-hand layup. Well, I'll tell you, when he's on a roll offensively, he's tough. Called by the officials on Obi Top. And I, I get it. College basketball, they want to minimize contact. Oh, wow. Games. As teams want to try and overplay him on the three point line because he's a great three point shooter, he can't so much if he's going to be taking the basketball. Makes things happen. Great assist player, but really stepped up his scoring this year. Tanner Krebs goes mano a mano with. They usually have high ball security, like to grind you out in the half court. Jordan Ford tries to answer in and out on. Traffic contested attempts. The much better outside shot. That athleticism, that size, that ability, the way to finish. He almost went up and got that. Well, he does a tremendous job to wipe that away with his left hand. Those are two big time athletes. We have seen some plays made in. Wow. And Conley bury a couple of free throws. He'll come out and coming in for defense is Landers. And all this one on one leaves Omaha at the end of the shot clock looking for a desperation heave, and there it is. Well, as desperation. And Crutcher gives them a couple of creative balls. Shot creators, they creators for the basketball. Shoot. And he doesn't even know what he has yet. This young man has a lot of potential. He's been a good three-point shooter this season. Overs in the span. Neatly fits stuff out in March. So David Cox called them the best passing team in college basketball. Harris thought about the three, drives on top and, and rattles it in. Free for a shot, wants to wiggle a bit closer with the low pound triple team. Harris again. You got to sprint back in transition. I know they want to win this game, and maybe because it's senior day, but they have to do a better job of be more concentrated. Toppin's reemergence is a great shooter of late. Harris against Toppin. Right down the lane. And draws a foul. Down. That got a piece. We get back. Hasn't happened very often. Only St. Louis and Miller. To try to get Kerry going, running more sets for him. Got the drive, the slip. Your game, this time, Crutcher struggles first half, comes back with a big second. They both have big games. Weathers, and that's a late whistle. Williams lost control, got it back. Van covered up by Toppin, goes reverse, blocked away. That was just too easy. 
It's funny because it feels like VCU's ahead. Yeah, just the way they played in the second half. Van Kemp is time in 26 games. The only time was against Grambling that he didn't reach that way. Jenkins, no good. Santos. 6-4 now in favor of UMass. Mitchell has top and went for the steal. Right to the basket for the freshman. For UMass today, 37% from the floor, and that's the big difference. Mitchell on the crossover goes over top and. And Anthony Grant is using that lead to play sub players. Yeah. Matos is in the game and Cohill. Langevin, athletic to the basket. Jump up from the baseline again. So a five point lead for the Flyers. Jacobs into the paint, heads to the basket, shot blocked by Toppin. French. It's a good win, good win into the paint, good win. Oh, we got Obi Toppin off his feet. That's a beautiful <laughs> move. Extended and made, made a layup out of it. Hassan French to the basket, shot blocked oh. by Obi Toppin. Bell with the rebound. Thought about going right back up. Instead goes to Collins. Jacobs to the baseline. And he's fouled going up. He'll get two shots. Chapman has to do a good job of containing the penetration of Collins. Goodwin has it stripped away. Ooh, Vander's almost had that. Goodwin going right to the basket. Shot is blocked going up. Goodwin gets it back to 10. Off the screen. Slight hesitation, sweeping in, gets the spin off the glass. Seconds left, St. Louis does not have any timeouts. Perkins is the shooter. Working against Toppin, off the glass, no good. Put back is, it's stolen. All right, now St. Louis has got to go. No timeouts left. He's going left. Perkins, little hesitation, off the glass, and no good. Land On point defensively that time down the floor. Sure. Cobb got Crutcher in the air, then the floater. Back too smart. Jenkins, fadeaway jumper, 47-41, it's the largest lead of the night, and Obi topping with the block. Block on the season for Amy Watson. Claire Joe strong with that. Hers is tough. A few bumps and bruises, I would say. Carl Pierre trying to get things going over top, and that is difficult.
complete, top to bottom. Toppin, good defense on the ball. Tough move for Beatty, and Mike Sell takes it for LaSalle. Pretty Bounce pass. pass, Croswell, good wait and go. Good finish off the Waiting for him. If he tried to drive the hole, you knew Toppin was going to try and block it. Ball almost lost. Possession. Somebody's got to help out. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Almost a flawless next eight minutes. Here's Toppin. Everything right, sharing the ball, getting the shots they want. Weathers one of the high low, Toppin. He UMass has to pick up sooner. Five points in the game for Mike So. Turnover, gives it back to the flop. Last time they played, nine threes. For here Dayton. we go, watch this. Team here. Travis Ford does not want to get in a track meet against Dayton in this building. Well, the turnover, 15 points per game, best score on the floor for St. Louis. Collins bumps, he lost control. Crutcher to top it. Here he goes. Penetration, so that doesn't happen. You've been off.
piece. We get back. Half the points tonight. Ace at shot clock again down to 10. Toppin got a piece of that. And Hughes got tangled up with Cohill. Foul on Dwayne Cohill comes up a little late. His best game of the year was at Dayton. 16 points in that one. Santos Silva tried to get the to the net. Crutcher the clutcher. 26-20. <laughs> Douglas off the palm, out of bounds. Williams lost control, got it back. Van covered up by Toppin, goes reverse, blocked away. That was just too easy. For UMass today, 37% from the floor, and that's the big difference. Mitchell on the crossover goes over Toppin. Ty James Breeding, Tim Cloggerty. By the way, you don't get another chance on that. No, that's right. Toppin has it blocked by his brother. So a five-point lead for the Flyers. Jacobs into the paint, heads to the basket, shot blocked by Toppin. Extended and made, made a layup out of it. Hassan French to the basket, shot blocked oh. by Obi Toppin. Chapman has to do a good job of containing the penetration of Collins. Goodwin has it stripped away. the season i'm sure that the coaching staff is expecting to see certain things from these guys like running the offense how about that block from behind when omaha stepped in the passing lane chapman did a good job of going to plan b which was to make that shot tend to shoot right going right at top and he got a fingertip on it 
back uh, yesterday for the Billikens to work it inside the French and make him a focal part of the offense. They get it to him right away, blocked by Toppin. Foreman left open, there he works it back inside, takes it back, Obi Toppin with his second block. I love him quickly. Another player that Duquesne fans have grown to love is Sincere Carey. He's driving baseline against Toppin, left hand block. Back Defense that everyone's been accustomed to in Kingston, Rhode Island over the last four or five years. Langevin, wow, all of that's blocked by Toppin. And what that went out. We've seen Hayward and we see the backup big side Chapman in the game. There he is. Toppin denied him at the Lambs. How about that? 67 flushes. I know there's somebody back in Dayton that's got that scoreboard and they flipped it. Oh, Hardinger coming off the bench. It doesn't matter to him. A miss for Crutcher. Langevin. Top of the key. It's a nice move to the basket, but his lefty shot. 6 to 20 to win it 75 to 64. They'd have to do that again tonight. Top in with another block out of bounds. Oh. Top in. Well, that was a huge. Mobley thought about it. In the paint, dropped it off. Santos Silva rejected by Topping. So Way with, I guess the officials they didn't have possession, but boy, if you could juggle like that, and that's pretty good. And another three. Yeah. Obi Toppin comes up empty, shot for three, in and out. And start your climb back. Dayton trying to put some pressure, helter skelter. Boy, a tough shot. 12 straight. surveys. He shields the ball well. Russell snaps it back. Down rhythm three. And Dayton undefeated in A-10 play. Rhode Island on the bubble. Harris for three. And Landers. Just say something. The one in red is going to be one of the top five picks in the draft. She's doing all right. <laughs> Martin step into a three. Wow. Just eight games, Obi Toppin shooting 50% from outside. You're telling me teams playing in this league only deserve two teams to get in the NCAA tournament? They, they. Winning. And that's what this team is about. Winning. Sharing the ball. Playing together. Helping one another. The way, and they had a little bit of trouble right there. That lead disappeared. Weird. Went down to 12. And bam. Toppin gives some room. And they'll finish it out. Hughes with one more. Right here by Obi Toppin. He's got to switch back on a bigger guy, though. He's on Van right now. Van's left open for three. Off the side, no good. Landers. Clark is doing a good job of pushing the ball up the floor quickly. And without turning it over. Sims for three. Rims out. Jenkins to Highland way downtown. No good. In and out. Landers tips it. And it's tipped out to Jenkins for three. No good off the floor. In the puck. They don't just get assist leading to the shot. Everyone shares the ball. Trey Mitchell will try a three and make it. Kamanga on it. Skip pass. East had it knocked out of his hands, but right back to Mitchell. That creates an open look for Pierre in the corner, and it's hands full here. 14 nothing. Dayton has jumped out to the early lead. Russell, he's been held in check by Chapman. Harris for three, tried to bank it home. Five by James Breeding, Tim Cloggerty. By the way, you don't get another chance on that. No, that's right. Toppin has it blocked by his brother. 
pass. Chapman has a cut off. Too low. Dalton for three. It is no good. Whistle blow on Dalton. Chapman again on Russell. Fade screen for Dalton. They want him isolated. Dalton fade away three. No good. And a rebound. He wanted that ball on that high low from French. Instead, they go to the corner. Shot clock at three. Goodwin. Shot clock at two. And he ties it up and so far. Chamonga doesn't play that much, so he can get out at 8 a.m. and work. <laughs> he only plays about 12 minutes a game. Had two huge buckets down the stretch to send the game to overtime on Wednesday night. Still just one out of seven from three-point range. Tough one, air ball. And here's Hopper. That's a tough matchup with his length. Carey says, I'll shoot over top of it. And Duquesne, another tremendous. And Keith Dambrock loves Mike Sell's game. Called him one of the unsung heroes for Dayton. Hughes, a three ball of top to players out there. There's a surge of adrenaline here. Hughes from three. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Turns it over. Opposite. Norman. Justison gets it back for Richmond. Gerard, Spiders move. Gerard from deep. Nice rotation on that one. Back, healthy. Really dangerous team. There's a lot of basketball left this season. Pernudis had a look there and he knocks it down. Add another one to the list. Mitchell, a deep corner, simple game. I mean, that's, and on every level, it does kind of come down to what you just described. Mitchell, Larry Joe matched up with Jalen Crutcher. And a two-man game, didn't set the screen this time, pops off the heel. Rebounding have to improve. Um, I, I think offensively, there's no signs of slowing down, and they're only going to be even more efficient as the season goes on. Almost intercepted. Stone near midcourt. Now it is intercepted. Croswell. Hakeem wants three. Missing long. And Levine really likes to play above the rim. Another three-pointer. Good. Good help recovery to the middle by Rodney Chapman. And a three ball off the from Michigan. Again, good Flyers defense. Shot clock down to three. When discussing the AP poll that was released this afternoon, here's another three try. Kristen, points have come at a premium for the Tigers. Edwards whips into the corner. This is Anthony Gaston. Missed it long. Points coming here in the second half. Underneath, Bunch, nice kick out. Smith Jr., that is the first made three. Pump fake on the three-point shot, kicked out to the wing, good pass, shot is up, shot is long, and Toppin clears. But they don't know how to score right now. Potter is going to force that one. Bad shot. Just, they don't really have any confidence right now on offense. Good double shooting. And another scoring drought for George Washington now at 212. And a great block defensively in underneath. How to get around the pressure. And of course, you attacked the big guy, and he got there. See it again? That's that fast Russell driving. Not Goodmanson left alone. That's off the front rim, and there's Obi Toppin to grab the rebound. Thought about a three with the left hand. Wild shot, no good. Here comes Toppin. Seven. Lee on the cut. Again misses from short range, and it's another rebound for Obi Toppin. Well, Carter Collins going to have to force one up. Can't connect. Man, what a very impressive first half here by Dayton. Now you mentioned that George They weren't even thinking about the NCAA. Now they've won six in a row, and they're in the NCAA, says the Mike Bell Bulldog in there. Oh, just a terrific coach.
want to wish the best to his wife. I understand she's under the weather. That's why he doesn't come to many games. A free human being and just a phenomenal teacher and motivator and coach. Missing for point blank range was Kellen Grady. Luka Brajkovic with the jump hook over Toppin. Toppin grabs his eighth rebound to go along with 18. Just like Gonzaga. They're big time programs. So it's funny, what really makes a mid-major, a quote-unquote mid-major? That they would be on the floor with 2.46 left in the game. Topping with the double-double now. That's pretty mothers and fathers today are hearing the words, your child has cancer. Four unbelievable words. So please help. Just go to Dick Vitek. The action plus the best and worst running back impressions of the combine. And Inter-Miami co-owner David Beckham joins the show to talk about his team.
called for the foul. Yeah, he pushed for Dan Hurley. The last few minutes have felt like an eternity in this game. I would agree with that. 